our other body. Set some more dog claws back, some more to body out there. We own this. What is this? I think this is the 99 video, guys. Wow, we almost had 100. That's amazing. Which, not really. I mean, I've been putting these videos up for a couple of years now. So I should be way beyond this. But still, 99 is a big number. And yeah, man, just to recap, as, as y'all can see, it's coming along, it's coming along. The beard is coming along. Nowhere near where I want it to be at. But um, as you can see, you know, this side, like I said last time, this side is coming in nicely. This side is <laughs> coming late to the party, but you know what? I cherish what I got, man. Whatever it is, <laughs> whatever I end up with, that's just what I have. <laughs> so, and it's only been a few weeks too, so I hear a lot of cats talking about they gotta wait at least sometimes two, three months longer, so. At the rate it's moving, I'll probably be there, <laughs> but I'm not gonna stress it either. But um, just be happy with what I have. So look, shout out to everybody out there. You guys know who you are. Uh, I forget names sometimes. The most recent person that commented on my video is a sister by the name of Tarkis Thomas. Hello to you, thank you for joining. Welcome to the family. Um, the sister had wrote a comment in the comments about how she came across my videos because she was contemplating, I believe, on suicide. But, um, you know, she saw my video and it changed her mind. And I'm happy for that. Thank you. Happy that my words or persona, or however you see me as, was a message to help you detour from that. You know, we've gotten to suicide before in other videos, so I'm not going to go into it too deeply here again. But... For any of you out there who are new coming into this and you're just crossing by the channel or you're contemplating it, look, I, I could go on some ABC special shit, you know, and be like, no, don't do it. You have your whole life ahead of you. But <laughs> if you've pretty much made a decision what you're going to do for anything, most people are going to follow through on it. But thankfully, most people don't <laughs> because they're not really sure what they want to do. So this is all I have to say on that, you know. If you feel that you want to commit suicide because of a heartbreak, somebody broke your heart, or, you know, you're stressed out, just think, look at these past, we, come on, man, we're on the 99th video where I've been talking about a lot of things <laughs> for the past few years, man, and pretty much, you know, there's a lot of things that... There's, there's so much more out there that you need to be exploring, man. There's so much more magic to be had, to be gained. And when I say magic, I'm not simply talking about the magic of the stars in the sky or butterfly. I'm talking about real magic, which, once again, you got to keep yourself grounded. Magic is real. It's none of that Harry Potter stuff that you see in the films. A lot of it takes place. A lot of it has, does take place here in physical reality, but some of the more convincing, <laughs> um, convincing, how should I say, I can't think of now, <laughs> but some of the more convincing acts take place in your deep meditations, your out of body states, dream states, however you want to call these things, they're all the same, but they take place in a non-physical, is what I'm trying to say. I got this one hair here, man, it's trying to go renegade. <laughs> Damn, even my hair is out of control. Anyway, anyway, let me back to the story. But listen, yeah. So, yeah, man. There's a lot of things to be gained, a lot of knowledge to be learned. And just because you decide to call it quits here, where do you think you're going after this? And this is what a lot of individuals need to think about, contemplate on, meditate on. Where are you escaping to? Where are you running from? And where are you running to? Where do you think you're going? Because if you don't have all the things I've been talking about for the past, this is the 99th video now, if you don't have it now, here in this physical realm of reality, you're not going to magically get it <laughs> when you die. Most likely, individuals who decide to commit suicide, it's not always, but usually do too, because they haven't learned how to adjust to this reality or they don't want to adjust to it, haven't really learned how to get a grip on themselves or their own abilities, so they just want to run, and <laughs> they end up running right back into another physical reality, because people like that, when they do decide to go, however they do it, 
and decided to commit suicide, at those last moments, or once it happens, they start regretting, and they want to backtrack. Oh no, I don't want to die, this is scary, oh my god, what have I done? And I've said this way back in many other videos, through their own sheer will of power, they manifest themselves right back into another physical reality. Sometimes it's not the greatest one. It could be one, because they're not planning it thoroughly, it's just a spirit of the moment thing, boom, I don't want to do this, I, actually, I regret it, I don't want to die, I want to come back. And they force themselves into, it could be another reality where they haven't had time to get their vessel properly organized, so they end up sick. They come back into it and they project it to another reality, end up with all kinds of sickness, ailments, disabilities, not always, like I've said, some of those people who do have disabilities and ailments, they choose those for their own reasons. And they have reasons for going, for manifesting those, you know, ailments. They have reasons why they do that. I know people say, well, why would somebody do that? Why would anybody want to have a disability? That's bullshit, that's a lie. But remember, we're all immortal. So in terms of time, when time is infinite, you have a, a lot of things to contemplate on and you know if you're looking at it from a, a physical perspective like like now quite naturally if i'm in this reality yes i don't want to have a disability now i don't want to have any sickness so it makes sense to say well why would i why would anybody want that but i'm talking specifically about for some individuals that are born into this reality with those things when you're in the other realms of reality and you're in your non-physical state and time is non-existent, you come up with different challenges for yourself. So you say, well, I've lived as a monk in this area. I've been a woman in this area. I've been poor in this one. I've been disabled in this one. I've had it all in this other one. I was rich. I was a great whatever you want to believe you were. Um, but in the realm of possibilities, you, in terms of the infinite, Quite naturally, there will be those who say, well, you know what, this time around, I want to be disabled. I, don't, I want no legs, or I want to have Down syndrome, I want to see what that's like, or whatever it is. So people choose, before they come here, how they want to live their lives. It's not for us to debate, it's not for us to argue, it's, really, it's no need to blow up the comments, no, that's a lie, nobody would ever want that. Remember, when we talk, when we come to this, you know, internet level in non-physical reality going talking through the, you know, the internet channels remember I never talk I, I'm not coming to you in terms of human perspective or if I do it's to make a point across but what I'm saying is we when we discuss things I'm not talking to any of you as human beings I'm not talking to any of you as male or female, I'm not talking to you based on your status, whatever you believe it is, if you're rich, you're poor, I'm coming to you, I'm speaking directly to your soul, the real you, and hopefully my message will get through, so a lot of individuals want to be pampered, they want you to make things nice for them, so oh no, see, you're going to go to the heavenly angelic realms, and your power animals and your spirits are going to come through. And that's all true for some people, some individuals, because that's what they believe. But if you were completely an atheist your whole life and you never believed in anything, and it's all about just rock hard, rock bed, you know what I'm trying to say, Zion, you don't magically become all-knowing once you die. Because there is no all-knowing. So it pretty much comes down to once you leave physical reality, how much information can you assimilate? How much can you take on? And most individuals can't take on much because they haven't prepared for it. Being in this physical reality is not really about, you know, I hear a lot of people say, oh, we're in a prison planet, we're trapped, there's this group holding you back. Even if, that, you know, it's not true, but even if that was true, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to just sit there forever and say, well, I can't move on because, you know, the archons are holding me back and I made a, a contract 20 lifetimes ago in an alternate life and this is my karmic deck. You, you, are you that weak? Are you going to fall for all that? Are you going to let that rule your life? Or are you going to say, fuck that? Multidimensional, man. You're not touching me. I make my own life, make my own reality. This is how it's going to be. And when I leave this room in reality, this is where I'm going, this is what I'm going to be doing. These are things you need to think about now. You need to think about this stuff now because 
Look, I don't have to tell you this. People die every day. People die every second. Somebody's dying right now, somewhere, <laughs> in some place, on this physical earth. Or somebody will die. Um, so, and most of those individuals are not ready. Some of them are. You know, I can't speak for everybody, but I know a lot are not ready because <laughs> I come across them in these other travels. And you think being in denial is only here? Even in a non-physical, you have individuals who have left this realm of reality who are still in denial. Some people have different names for them called unrestful souls or spirits and all that, but it pretty much comes down to energy that has refused to accept its true place in the whole order of things, which is really no order. <laughs> it's all pretty much coming down to what you want to do, what you believe, and your powers take you to where you, where you need to go. Whatever you believe is going to happen to you in the afterlife, most likely that's what you're going to get. You believe in hell and brimstone and fire, good luck. I hear it's pretty hot. You better bring some suntan oil <laughs> and an umbrella because that's where you're going to be at for a while. Not by, def not by like any rules or anything. Not by default. Mostly by your own power. <laughs> that's where you're going to go. Do you believe in heaven and the angelic forces are going to come and take you away? That's what you'll get. This is why people see angels when they have these near-death experiences and stuff. But how long do you think that's going to keep you entertained? If you believe that it's all about being in heaven and you're going to be in this ethereal place with the angelic forces, infinity is a long time. <laughs> and at some point, even that might get boring for you. And what happens when you're ready to... Let's say have an adventure. You're getting tired of hanging out with the angelic forces. You want to see what's going on the other side. Your own projections might hold you back. No, you can't do that. If you break these rules, you're going to burn in hell. God's going to be angry. And this is all you. That's how powerful we are, man. You know, I stroke my little whiskers here. <laughs> it's coming, baby. It's coming. The beer's coming. Anyway, anyway. You know, you're going to get what you're going to get, man. And, <laughs> you know... I hear a lot of people talking about the fifth dimension and this. Yeah, so one, you know, if you skim in the internet, somebody like, there's actually 42 dimensions. <laughs> it's like, you can even come with all these numbers. You know, the fifth dimension seems to be the most popular one. For some reason, people like that number five. But <laughs> look, guys, there's an infinite number of dimensions. It's just, that's how it is, you know. So you can sit here and listen to these so called specialists and they'll tell you that there's actually 22.8. Six dimensions There's always going to be more And there's more dimensions constantly being created Endlessly Infinitely, eternally That's by default It just happens, that's just how it is You're always going to have Infinite number of realities That's why it's called um, The unknown reality Because it's always unknown There's always going to be things you can't foresee This is why I say that Tay. <laughs> this is why I say that there's no such thing as omnipotence. No one knows everything at all times. It's impossible because new things are always being created all the time. This is why all that is has decided to manifest itself within everything so that it can have the full multi dimensional experience on all levels, regardless of dimensional barriers that are mostly created <laughs> by individuals. But do their belief systems so yeah man I had no idea to a moment there but bouncing back yeah man when it comes to suicide and all that look everything is a day by day process man I know life is hard shit ain't fair sometimes people feel life isn't fair why is this happening to me but you gotta start questioning and ask yourself why is it happening to you why does bad luck seem to follow you around? Why is it nobody likes you? Why do you feel you have no friends? Everybody talks shit about you. Everybody's trying to steal your man or steal your girl. You got a ton of haters. And, uh, you know, I know that can sound empowering for many people. Be like, hey, if they're hating on me, I'm doing something right. If they're not hating, I'm not doing anything. But at the end of the day, why is everybody hating on you? Are you an ass? <laughs> Are you a jerk? <laughs> you know, this is what you got to question. Are you a bitch that people just can't stand to be around you? Nobody likes an asshole, man. <laughs> you know, that's it. You know, if you're a jerk, if you're a bitch or whatever, nobody likes people like that. You know, and this has nothing to do with being spiritual. It's common sense. If you 
uh, a bitch or an asshole to people, guess what? <laughs> You're going to get those reactions from people. People ain't going to want to be around you. So, you know, don't cry say life is hard if you be an antisocial or blocking yourself off from other people, man. So, yeah, man. You got to be strong. You got to be strong. It's like... Oh, now, I gotta go in a minute. Somebody's coming in, but I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I'm always I'm gonna try to new video. I'm trying to leave y'all stuff to meditate on. Check this out. I gotta quit because I got a few minutes. Listen, for any of you that have addictions, and I might have to get back on this in the video. But any of you, if any of you have addictions, whether it is it could be a sexual addiction, pornography addiction, addiction to masturbating, addiction to drinking, shopping, whatever, you're in for a little treat. Now this is gonna take some real training because. You need to have a strong mentor to do what I'm about to tell you. But if you have, if you do have an addiction, and you're ready to bring it to an end and get your life organized, you're in luck <laughs> because that addiction is going to propel you and propel your abilities, talents, and powers even further. How? You know they have things like abstinence-based recovery for people who. You know, for alcoholics, drug addicts, which basically it's like step by step, day by day. You say, like, for example, today I'm not going to do, I'm not going to have a drink. And if you basically do that one day at a time, take each day as it is, eventually you hopefully lead yourself to the road of recovery. But on the flip side of that, let's say, for example, I'll give you a sample, right? A lot of men go through sexual addiction. So, like, a lot of men tend to, they want to masturbate, they want to look at porn videos, they want to do this every day, all day, fucks up their life, their marriages, relationships. Here's what you do, right? You stop cold turkey. Now this is gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough. And I gotta go, so I'm gonna you're gonna think about this and meditate on it. You stop cold turkey, whatever your addiction is. The first day you stop, just say like the following day, you're gonna feel like your mind is being torn apart. You're gonna be like, I gotta get to that computer. I gotta watch this video. Don't do it. All that power is gonna be building up and generating. And it's gonna be tough, but you gotta really just, you know, strap down and get ready. People coming in now. But from that, you're gonna feel, okay, this energy, hold on, let me try to step up just. <laughs> I got five minutes. I'm gonna step out because I want to make this point clear to all of you, so you get what I'm trying to say. Hello. I want to make this clear. Hold up. Yeah. All right. I got a few minutes. Look. So, the power, right? It's gonna be building up, and you're gonna feel this is crazy. I can't take it. Watch how your dreams are for that night. Don't do anything, whatever your addictions are. Don't jump on the computer. Don't look at the porn. Don't do any of it. When you go to sleep tonight, watch how your dreams are going to be jumping all over the place. They might bounce as sexual dreams, possibly, but they're going to be very vivid, more vivid than you've ever experienced. Then you do a second day. You do the same thing. It's going to get easier, trust me. It might be really tough in that first week, especially the first few days. You're going to feel like your, your mind is being torn apart mentally, emotionally, spiritually, because you're going to really want to be getting back at those addictions, right? But each day, monitor your dream states. Do your meditations. Watch how much power you're going to feel building up. You're going to feel power like you've never felt it before. And it's going to be growing. And the longer you go without tending to those addictions, the more powerful you're gonna feel your magic is coming back to you. You're gonna feel your abilities going like triple fold. Power's gonna be building up, it's gonna be building up. You're gonna be like, oh shit. Then, here's the final part, or at least a part of it. Then you question, are you ready to sacrifice all your abilities for that one act of giving to that addiction? Is getting on the computer, and masturbating or going to have that alcoholic drink worth risking all this power you feel? Because once you do it, yeah, you'll feel good for a minute once you give into that addiction, but you're gonna be like, damn, I fucked up. I was feeling powerful and now I just lost it all again. So this is a part of regaining your power, right? 
and I'm gonna. These are just a basic stage. Just do what I said for now, and when I come back on another video, I'll probably get into this again and give you some more details. But for now, remember, phone just died, so I don't know what time it is. So I gotta go. But look, whatever your addictions are, don't do them for one day. Watch your dreams at night, study your meditations. Let that go to two days, three days, four days. It's going to build. You're going to feel the power building. You're going to start noticing some magic going on in your life. All right, I got to get out of here. See multi-dimensional brother set. Love all y'all. Smart to everybody out there. We'll get back at you later.